So Lisa Frankenstein is directed by Zelda Williams, the daughter of the late great Robin Williams, written by Diablo Cody, who wrote the infamous Jennifer's Body, and stars Catherine Newton. Now, the trailers for this movie is kind of misleading. It makes it seem like uh, Catherine's character, Lisa, brings this Victorian guy back to life because she's in love with him, even though she doesn't know him. He's just a gravestone. He's just literally a head. It's a sculptor on his stone. But that is not the case. I won't say how it happened because it is a spoiler, but it's not what the trailer makes it seem. Catherine Newton is amazing. She's absolutely amazing. I've been a huge fan of hers ever since Freaky came out because I'd never seen her in anything. I didn't even know who she was until I saw Freaky with, ben, with her and Vince Vaughn. And she killed it. She was amazing. And honestly, it's no different here in Lisa Frankenstein. She plays like the goth, loner kind of character very, very well. And like I'm rooting for her throughout the movie. Like even when she does something. Again, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I'm still rooting for her because it involves her stepmother, who is played by uh, Carlo Gugino, who in her own right is an amazing actress. She does not always get the credit she deserves, and she just plays such a bitch in this movie, but she plays it so well. Uh, it's like it's like Zelda Williams really brought it out of her, and it's, it's campy, it's over the top, but it's just perfect. Cole Spruce is our uh, creature, I guess, is the best thing to call him. Uh, the last thing I saw him in was a movie called Moonshot, and he was terrible. He was atrocious in it. It honestly made me hate him as an actor. It really did. Uh, this movie, he is not that bad. And I think it's probably because he spends 99.9% .9 of it not saying a word but his facial expressions his body language he does that quite well and it made me not hate him so much now the story itself it's very diablo cody it's full of cliches left and right and left and right and up and down and everywhere but uh zelda williams i think does a very good job in bringing it to life and uh catherine newton and cole spruce and carla gugino uh, everybody does very well with the script, with what they are given, and you know what? They pull it off. Ultimately, is Lisa Frankenstein a great movie? No. No, it is not. But it is extremely fun, and it is hysterical at times. Uh, there's times where you're rooting for who is a technically sort of the villain. You're rooting for the person because just of the way they're kind of treated overall and you want them to win you don't want them to be caught and it's just everybody does a very good job in portraying that especially Catherine Newton as Lisa but like I said I mean story-wise it's not really a great movie but I think it has the makings of without a doubt another cult classic kind of movie like Jennifer's Body uh, so Diablo Cody you know what she's good at writing like I guess B movie material and just the actors themselves, they know how to elevate it to, well, not A, but but higher. Like, a little less or a little more than a B movie. So, I'm going to give Lisa Frankenstein, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it a solid B. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.